From live performances to cinema, the fringe of the art community has a new home in Wilmington. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Local Edition. With me this hour is Tina Betts, Director of Cultural Affairs for the City of Wilmington. Thanks for being with us, Tina. Thanks, Jill. Good to be here. We've talked about different festivals in the past, everything from film to music, but this is a new festival coming to Wilmington, a Fringe Festival. Right. Why did you want to bring it here? Well, because we weren't doing a Fringe Festival and Wilmington needs a Fringe Festival. Wilmington is right on the verge of becoming a world-class city. And in, in order to do that, we need to continue to think in bold ways. Uh, you've met Mayor, Mayor Baker, of course, many times. Mm -hmm. And as you know, he's a very bold visionary. Uh, fringe festivals actually help, uh, help propel that vision forward. If people aren't familiar with the concept of Fringe, what exactly does that mean? Well, uh, the, the best way to explain it is that it's, um, it's no holds barred art. Um, it's experimental, it's unconventional, um, it pushes the boundaries, it allows art, artists and audiences to, uh, to push the boundaries of what they think is art. And really, this festival does do that. You had so many people apply that you're actually having simultaneous performances. That's right, in 11 venues. It's a four-day festival, October 1st through 4th, with a special preview party on September 30th. Um, we had, we were hoping to get 20 to 25 applications. We actually received about 70 applications from all over the country. Um, we'll have about 130 artists performing in 11 different venues, as you mentioned before, um, cinema, film, uh, cinema, uh, visual, and performance art. We have the opportunity at the preview party to really see excerpts of what we'll experience for the rest of the festival, really helping us to decide where we want to go because there's so much to see, you can't do it all. That's exactly right. We have four days to, to, to squeeze in 26 uh, different performances. Uh, so people will come on September 30th, get a little taste of what they can see during those four days and uh, you know make some, uh, make some choices to have some fun for four days. And talk to us a little bit about the selection process of bringing these artists here. How did you decide what should be included in this first Fringe Festival and what are some of the things that we'll see? Well, one of the things that we knew that we didn't want to do is to have anything that was traditional in any way. And fortunately, we had a lot to choose from. We were very clear on our application that uh, the, the artists who were applying needed to be thinking outside of the box, that their art had to display that um, out of the box thinking. And so it, it, although it was very, very difficult because we had so many artists who actually got the concept of fringe? Um, we, uh, you know, we, we went through the process. We have about 20 people who sit on a planning committee. We put together a subcommittee, and they did a very good job of uh, bringing to Wilmington what we know people will be very excited about. But in addition to cinema and visual arts, you have performing arts, mm -hmm. you have dance, you have music. It really runs the gamut of what is considered art, but it's a little bit different than what we would typically see. That's exactly see. right. I mean, and yeah. that's the exciting thing about Fringe, is that, you know, it is the unexpected. If you come expecting anything that you've seen before, um, you're, you will be pleasantly surprised. People who are used to Fringe festivals know that they'll show up and, uh, you know, they won't know exactly what they're going to get, but they know that whatever they get will push a bunch of buttons. And we can get tickets for one performance or we can get them for a variety of different performances. That's exactly right. We will have an all-access pass. I want to mention that all performances will be ten dollars or less with an all access pass. Uh, tickets will be available beginning September 1 on our website. Okay, so we have the chance to, to purchase one or uh, an all access pass. Right. Why would you encourage people, if people are more into traditional types of art and performance, why would you encourage them to step outside of the box themselves and come to this festival? Well, I think that, you know, sometimes people don't realize just how deep they are and, <laughs> and how they can appreciate art that, they, that maybe they uh, just didn't think about before. Mm -hmm. so so hopefully this will open people's minds to explore um, areas that uh, you know that may have been lying dormant. And one of the great things about Fringe Festivals is that you can really be blown away by other people's creativity and imagination. I guarantee you that October 1st through 4th in Wilmington you will be blown away. All right. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun and the first time that Wilmington is having a Fringe Festival. Yeah, Thanks first. for being with us. Thank you, Jill. We've been talking with Tina Betts, Director of Cultural Affairs for the City of Wilmington. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Local Edition.